everybody. This is Reba Conley with um, Creation, Conley Creations by Reba. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, double welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope everybody's had a good week so far. Um, it's been a busy one for me. Um, tonight, we are going to do something different. We're going to paint with these. Scary, huh? I did, I think, two with this one right here. This is a sink strainer. And they turned out okay. But because I have this little 10 by 14, I think is what it was, or something like that. I, I know I measured it last week. Um, I got something underneath my table, so it's a, it's a jiggling, so let me find a stick to put underneath it. Okay, because I've got my little trusted thumbtack. Um, we, um, like I said, I've, I've painted one, one or two with them, and they turned out pretty good. Um, I don't remember which ones. I think I've sold them already. I don't know what's wrong with this darn thumbtack. It just don't want to sit right. Um, but it'll work for right now. Okay, and then this is the other one. Now, you can pour on this one. You can pour from either way. You can pour from the, this side inward to right, you know, to where this is like sitting down and um or sticking out and then um where because this got these oblong little holes in it too right here if you can see them and um so i decided you know i want to just try something tonight um something funky maybe you know if it turns out it turns out if it don't it don't but it's fun and i need some therapy tonight and so if it turns out funky, that's woohoo. If it don't, well, it's still okay. Just paint. I'll wash it off and we'll use it again ne next time for a video. So I did not paint. Um, so if y'all are ready to paint, let's paint, okay? Let me get this contraption down a little bit. Okay, I got it down too much. And I'm gonna try to get my, let's see if that's gonna be too much light on it. I don't think it is. Let me see if I can get this back a little bit. Okay, okay. I hope y'all can see that pretty good. If not, I might just change cameras. Okay. Well, we're gonna try it. And um, we're gonna see, let me raise it up just a little bit more because it looks like it's going to try to topple over okay so we're going to see what it does and like i said i think i've got something underneath my paper on my table and let me get this going and get some gloves i think what my table over here y'all is is a mess because I have just been doing some resining and um, just making messes. Okay, we're going to see if we can. Okay. I don't know if that's going to work for y'all or not. You know, it did the last time, so I don't know what in the tarnation is keeping it from doing it this time. It did pretty good the last time. Let's see. I think that would help it. Okay. How about that? I think that's perfect. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn this light up a little bit because I want you guys to see what we're doing. And if it's too much and I start seeing shadows everywhere, well... We'll switch it out. My grandson said to me, Mimi, just move the light by it. 
And I'm not sure, but I don't want it to be too much light to where you can't see what I'm doing. But I think this right here is going to be okay. All right. So, the colors that we're going to be using tonight, y'all, is silver. And that's from um, Craft Smart. Silver. I'm using all metallic tonight. I'm just in a metallic mood, so I'm going to use all metallic. And, of course, I mix them with uh, my trusty flow troll. And we're going to have it about this consistent because I want it to flow but not pour, you know, not go too fast. The second color we're going to use is teal, metallic teal or topaz. It is a really gorgeous, gorgeous color. This is one of my favorite colors, and I like doing a lot of my resin stuff with this color. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but you'll see it soon. Okay, and then we are going to use um, Amethyst, and that's by Anita. Oh, and the teal is by Folk Art. And look at this pretty color. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then my Master's Touch Phthalo Blue. I love Master's Touch paints too, but like I said, they, they can get expensive unless you find them on sale, which that's the only way I can purchase them is if they're on sale. Okay. I hope everybody gets to get back a lot of taxes for you this year. I hope, you know, the world treats you kind this year because it sure has been rough on us the last couple of ones. Okay. So I'm going to use, of course, and the white is Artist Law. I'm going to just barely put some on the edges. And then we'll make two puddles. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just smooth it out a little bit. I'm not going to worry about the edges or the corners right now because I think we're going to have plenty of paint to, you know, help that along. So, just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Get a little wet. And then I'm going to do two puddles, just kind of help it move along. Okay. All right. Okay. Get that going. Um, it's like 14 degrees here, so even with the little heater I have over here, I still needed a sweatshirt tonight. And look, pajamas. I have pajama bottoms over leggings, y'all. <laughs> But I'm always cold. That's thanks to my thyroid. Okay, so we're going to make a puddle here. Just a little one. Just to get things started. And a puddle here. Because once I start pouring the paint in, it, it will smooth out a little bit. I think I went too close to the edge on that one. And we're going to put this right here. Now we're going to just set this right in the middle of it. Okay, and I can't make up my mind which way I want to go with this. But this just makes such a pretty design when I put it this way. So, and just fill up that. So that's what we're going to do. And let's just move a little bit. Now, I, am, I think I'm going to start with the darkest color which is the phthalo blue. Okay, and we'll just pour some in here. And you know what? That's a little still thick. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. I think my water bottle was empty. I had to mend some canvases. So we're going to just add a little bit of water. Okay. Sometimes it's Master's Touch. I think that's the reason I like it. It's because Master's Touch is a thicker paint. 
and it just lasts forever and um, it takes a lot uh, once I do my one-to-one -one flow trawl if it needs still needs thinning out a little bit I add water okay I think that's a lot better and let me get my paper towel here okay so we're gonna put a little bit more just to get it started Okay, we're going to put a little bit more over here. We'll put some here. Okay. Alrighty. And then I think we're going to do silver. On top of that blue. Okay. And pretty soon, I, I oh, you can see it. Pretty soon you'll start seeing it crawl out from the bottom. So, okay, I think we're going to do teal next. Let's do teal, and then let's do a little bit of white. I was going to use pearl white because it's a metallic white, but I said, you know what? I think the regular white will be just fine. Okay. Alrighty. That had a clump in it, so I'm going to have to watch out for that clump I just saw. And then we're going to use the amethyst, and that seems to be pretty good on top of that one. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, y'all. I can't wait to pull these up. Well, I'm pretty sure it looks like y'all can see them now because I'm looking at the camera. Isn't that pretty? Okay, we'll let those go a little bit. I'm going to raise this one up just a little bit because it's kind of slower than the other one. Raise it up just a little bit. Oh, that is making it pretty pretty. Okay, so then we're going to go back to the phthalo blue. Actually, you know what? We're going to do silver. I don't want to do too much silver because silver tends to take over. So any of your silvers and golds and coppers and rust espresso metallics seem to take over your it can take over your whole painting okay so we're going to do the amethyst Oops. <laughs> again i love purple so that's probably what's going to be dominant in this and we're going to do just a dot of white. Okay. And that one's moving really good. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Okay. We're going to go over here and put the blue. And some blue over here. This one is moving good. And I see some cell activity. Now we talked about the cells and how to get them. Oh, that's weird looking at them. It usually runs a little bit faster too, so I'm not sure what's going on with it, but we're gonna move it a little bit. Okay. Let it go down. And we're going to see what it does. This one's moving good. Kind of looks like a peacock tail, don't it? Hmm. Okay, we're going to definitely need a little more paint. So, let's do silver. Just a little bit over here. And silver over here. And then I want to do some more teal. 
So let's do a drop of white. This side's got more teal in it than this side does. Okay. So we're going to do teal over here. I'm going to do a glob of teal right there. Teal right there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put some white around here so it keeps flowing because it kind of stopped flowing. There we go. And we're going to do the same over here even though it's flowing pretty good. But we'll give it some help too. Okay. All right. I wish y'all could see the inside of this booger right here because it's got like a sunburst. Woo! Now these are way different. So Lord have mercy. It's not any telling what we're going to get. <laughs> it's not any telling at all, y'all. I'm telling you. I can come up with some doozy crazy paintings. But that's the fun of it. All right, this one is doing good, so I'm going to really concentrate on getting this one going. Okay, so we're going to do, we did teal the last time, let's do a little bit more white. And we're going to do some phthalo blue. Okay. We're going to do some purple. Okay. All right. Okay, now let me get uh, board. Pick this one up. Okay, so we're through with this one. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Oh, look at that right there, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So we're going to help this one along a little bit. And we're scooting down. Oh, look at that. Can y'all see that? Let me see. How are we going to do this? Okay, let me wipe my hands off, y'all. And then, you got to see this. Oh, my goodness. And that's the bad thing, too. When you get something really, really pretty, when you're doing these, you're just like, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, that way I won't get my contraption all messed up. Y'all look at this. Let me see. Oh, look at those. Look at those nettles. There we go. Aren't those pretty? Weird, huh? Okay. So, what to do next, right? Okay. Well, of course, we got to tilt it. But, I really don't want to mess up the centers. So, we're going to put some more white around the board. Okay. And that was about to come off the board. Okay. So, because this one is 
smaller, I'm going to just kind of go in circles. I know it's going to mess up anyway, but we're going to try to keep some of it. You know what? We're going to add some more right here. Let's use... Nope, we're going to use that one. Because that put out such a darn cute little middle. We're going to pour some more, y'all. Let's do it right here just a little bit. And see what happens. Yeah. We'll just see what happens. I'm going to do some teal. And that's it, because I don't want too much on my edge. Okay. Is it coming out? Here we go. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this point. Oh, that's pretty. Look. Oh, oh. gonna do. Let's see. I know y'all can't see. We're gonna see. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that's pretty. Looks like flowers, huh? Okay. Now, Tilt it. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. That way, and we're going to tilt it. That way. And I'm going to totally destroy. Okay, so what we're going to do right here is we're going to pour some teal, kind of let it flow that way. What do y'all think of that? Look at that, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going to just do the corners in. Put it some paint off of here. And we got that one in, that one, and that one. Now we're going to torch it, okay? We're going to see what kind of what we can do is a little bit of torching, and then we're going to clean the bottom of it up. I see a lot of air bubbles. Ooh, we got a lot of cells coming. Oh.
I have a friend that these are her favorite colors, and I have a feeling when she sees this video, she's going to scream, Better not sell that! I want it! So she bought quite a few from me that's got these colors. She just absolutely loves them. And her bedroom is in these colors, so that's probably the reason. Uh, she's got two big ones hanging above her bed. Okay, y'all. Let me see if I can pull this away. can show y'all this and go slow enough to where you can actually see. I'm going to be better if I sit down and show y'all. That way I can see too and make sure I'm not going too fast. Okay. Y'all look at this. Look at those sales. Let me see if it's better. Oh, yeah. Okay. We did a good job. Yeah, because I really didn't know what this was going to look like doing two of the strainers. But it turned out pretty good. I love this corner right here. Look at those colors, y'all. And just look at this. This looks like a river and the waterfall. It is just, oh, look at that corner. I love it. I absolutely love it. And look at this center right here. Let's see if I can get a, right there. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I love that. Okay, and see there's little bitty cells all on the corners. It is just, it's beautiful. I love it. I think this is the best I've done in, in, in a couple of days because I haven't had any luck <laughs> with my paintings lately. But you know what? It, it, the weather and everything got everybody blocked so I'm, I'm not one to be blocked I mean I'm not one to uh, say I don't get blocked because I get blocked too like everybody else does and then I just pray a little bit and ask God to help me get some strength in me and where I used to work at um, I have a lot of friends in Blair Nebraska and I used to work at one of the facilities there and all my CNAs there were my kids. I just, I loved them. Awesome CNAs, y'all. Awesome nurses in that place. And I would just, sometimes we'd get so frustrated, I'm like, Lord, give me strength. And then one of the nurses like, don't say strength because he's going to give you enough strength just to keep on working. You know? <laughs> so, and she was right because we just kept on working. And um, especially during the COVID crap, and uh, it was just, it was oh, just horrible. But um, I miss them guys. I miss y'all, every one of you. You know who I'm talking about. Love y'all. Um, it's amazing how many friends I have made at the facilities I used to work at. And I'm very thankful for each and every one of them. Because I tell you what, I... I haven't met anyone at any facility I can truly say that I didn't like. And um, it's been some grumpy ones, but you know, who's not grumpy these days? <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm one that's quick to try to get them to, to laugh and, you know, and just, you know, but back in the, but towards the end of, of me nursing, I was getting grumpy, so I knew it was time for me to take a step back. Plus, my health is just, ugh, 
you know, I'm 61, I, I, I know it's coming, you know, but oh well. We, we go on and we move on. And I hope y'all have a blessed week. I'm not sure when I'll get to do another video. Um, who knows? I might can sneak off and do one tomorrow. Who knows? You hear my house? It's nice and quiet right now. That's because Mama's got my grandkids downstairs and threatening them. Do not go up those stairs. Mimi's going to make a video. And um, sometimes that don't work with Corey most of the time. He'll still try to sneak in that door and, and, and come see what I'm doing. But that's okay because that's what they're there for. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. And I hope the good Lord blesses you with the rest of a nice week. I hope this cold weather hurries up and goes away. Um, I want y'all just to be happy, be kind, okay? And be blessed. And um, I'm going to just say goodbye now because I rattle, and we all know that, and that's okay. You know, you don't have to listen to me. You can just go ahead and fast forward that little booger and go, click, she's done. But it's okay. If y'all have enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button, and that little bell so that you'll know next time I, when I get online, I got something coming. And next time may not be painting. Next time may actually be resining, y'all. Next time may actually be the dominoes. So stay tuned, okay? And listen for that little bell. All right. Love y'all. I hope y'all have a good evening. Have a good night.